In this video, I'm going to show you a way to set up your health bar to look a bit better and be more functional to the player, adding a chip away effect to give them a chance to process how much the bar has changed. Now, this isn't exclusive to health bars. It can be used for any kind of status bar that you want players to keep track of. So let's head over to Unity, where I have a new scene with some simple artwork, which you can find links for in the description below. Feel free to follow along using these assets or create your own artwork. First, let's set up our game objects and UI elements. We want to make sure that all of our artwork is set to sprite in the image settings. Now create a empty game object and name this player and create a new canvas and call this player UI. Under the player UI, we'll create a panel and we can drag in our frame image. We'll set the alpha to full and we'll hit this handy little button here called set native size, which will automatically set the width and height of our rect transform to match the resolution of our image. Drag it into place, scale it down a little bit using the rect tool, holding shift to maintain aspect ratio. And we'll rename it to be frame. Now we can duplicate this and add in the front health bar image, rename it to be front health bar. And drag it above our frame game object in the hierarchy so that it renders below the frame. And just scale the health bar down so that it matches the bounds of this top section of the frame. Now we'll duplicate this once more, rename it to back health bar, drag in our back health bar game image, which has had all of the color and texture stripped from it because we're going to be setting this in the code. Drag that above our front health bar and duplicate it once more and rename this health bar background. We'll set this to be a dark gray and drag it above all of the other images that we've done so far. Now we want to select both our back and front health bar, change the image type to be filled and change the fill method to be horizontal. That's the basic setup for our UI. Now what we're going to be doing in code is one of the bars will essentially be chasing the other with a slight delay. So if we get damaged, We'll immediately set the fill amount of our front health bar down to a certain value. We'll change the color of the back health bar, and then we'll lerp the back health bar down to meet the front health bar. And the opposite applies for if we gain health, we'll change the color to be green. We'll immediately set the back health bar's fill amount, and then the front health bar will chase the back health bar. Now this might sound confusing, but it will all make sense when we start laying it out in the code. So let's do that now. Go to your scripts folder, create a new c -sharp script and rename this player health. Open it up in your code editor. First, we'll need a private float called health and a public float called max health. We'll set this to equal 100. We'll also have a public float called chip speed which will control how quickly the delayed bar takes to catch up to the one that we immediately set. And we can set this to two. And we'll also want a private float called lerp timer, which we'll use when we're animating the, um, the health bars later. For the next two variables, we want to make sure that we're using unityengine.ui at the top of our class. So we'll need two public images. The first one we'll call front health bar. And the next one we'll call back health bar. So in the start function, we want to set health to equal max health. 
And down in update, we want to clamp our health so that it's never below zero and it never rises above our max health. So to do this, we just type health is equal to mathf.clamp. We're clamping the health value. And we want to clamp between zero and max health. At the bottom of the class, we'll create a new void function called update health UI. And we'll also call this in the update function. In this function, all we're going to do for now is just debug out our health value. Underneath our update health function, we'll create a new public void function called take damage. And this one will have a float parameter called damage. All we want to do in this function is subtract damage from health. So health is minus equal to damage. We'll also reset our lerp timer, which we're not doing anything with yet, but we'll need to do that here. Back in the update method, we'll detect a key press to call the take damage function. So if input dot get key down key code dot a take damage. And we'll set this to a random range between five and 10. Okay, so let's test this out. Go back into Unity. We'll reset the fill amounts for our health bars and we'll add the script to our player game object. We'll drag in our front health bar and back health bar, even though we're not doing anything to update the UI yet. But we'll hit play and we'll get some logs in the console. So our health is at 100 when we hit A. Health is at 93, 84, 78, and so on. So let's go back in our code and start adding the logic to update the UI. Down in the update health UI function, we're going to store some local variables for the fill amount of both our health bars. So we'll create a new float, call it fill F or fill front and set it to the front health bar dot fill amount. And we'll call the second one fill B and we'll set this to back health bar dot fill amount. We're also going to need a local variable for health, but we need this to be a decimal fraction of our max health. To do this, we'll create a new float, call it H fraction. And we can set this to just equal our health divided by our max health. This will keep the value of H fraction between zero and one. So we can do some nice easy comparisons between that and our fill F and fill B values. So when we get damaged, our health value drops. And as a result, our H fraction value will also drop. So we can do a check to see if fill B is greater than our H fraction value. If it is, then this means we've taken damage. So as I said earlier, we want to immediately set the front health bar fill amount to a certain value. So we'll type in front health bar dot fill amount is equal to H fraction. We'll set the back health bar dot color to be red. So now we can increment our lerp timer. And we'll do this by typing lerp timer is plus equal to time dot delta time. And now we need a local variable to track the completion of the lerp. So we'll create a new local float, call it percent complete, and set this lerp timer divided by chip speed. Okay, so all that's left to do is to lerp the fill amount of our back health bar. So this will be the bar that's chasing the, the front health bar that we initially set down to our H fraction value. And we do that by typing back health bar dot fill amount is equal to math f dot lerp. And we're lerping this from fill b to the h fraction value. And for the final parameter, we'll pass in percent complete. All right, so that's a bit of a confusing chunk of code. And if you're still having trouble understanding this section, definitely go check out the additional material in the description, uh, the right way to lerp in Unity. Save that. 
go back into Unity and let's test that out. So now if we hit A, you can see that our little chip effect is starting to come together. Alright, so head over back into the script and at the bottom of the class create a new function called restore health. So public void restore health. This will take a float parameter and we'll call this heal amount. And the opposite of the take damage function will set the health plus equal to heal amount. And we'll reset our lerp timer. And again, in the update function, we'll just copy this chunk of code here. Set the key to be S. And instead of take damage, we want to restore health. Okay, so here's a little challenge for you. Pause the video here and see if you can figure out the reverse logic to update the UI for when the player gains health. First off, you want to check for any discrepancy between two of these three values. You want to set the back health bar's color to green and immediately set the back health bar fill amount to the new value. And then you want to do your lerp on the front health bar. Okay, so how did you go? So as I said before, we want to check the discrepancy between two of the three values up here. And what we want to check is if fill F is less than our H fraction value. So that means our new health value is greater than our fill front and we've restored our health. We want to set our back health bar dot color to equal color dot green. We'll set the back health bar dot fill amount to equal H fraction. And the next two lines of code are the same as the last one. We'll increment our lerp timer and we'll create the percentage value. And now we just need to lerp the front health bar equals math F dot lerp. We're lerping the fill F until it reaches the back health bar dot fill amount. And we'll lerp that by a percent complete. All right, save that. Okay, so before we test this in Unity, I want to show you a little trick that you can add to make the animation look better. So we're just going to square the percent complete value. So we type in percent complete is equal to percent complete times percent complete. And we'll do that for when we take damage as well. So just under the where we declare the percent complete, we'll square the value. And that will create a nice little ease in effect. So the animation will start off slow and speed up as it's reaching completion. And I really recommend the video on YouTube, Math for Game Programmers, Fast and Funky 1D Nonlinear Transformations, which I'll have a link for in the description below. So heading over back into Unity, we hit play, we'll tap the A key. You can see that the chip away effect is working nicely for when we're taking damage. If we hit the S key, you can see it's working for when we're restoring our health as well. And there you go, there's all the functionality that you need for a cool chip away health effect. And that's all for this part. In the next part, I will add a leveling up system, which will increase the health each time that you level up. If you liked it, I would really appreciate a like. Uh, if you have any questions, pop it in the comment section below. And I'm planning on doing a lot more of these videos in the future. So subscribe if you want to keep seeing this content.